After lunch, so it's tricky, right? Two minutes. Okay. After I see what the weekend we can do. Okay, so um, how are you guys doing today? Good? Good. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. All right, so as you guys can tell from the title of my presentation, um, so what I'm about to share with you guys is no secret, right? So you know what to do. You know what you're supposed to do. You know what you're supposed to be. You know what you're supposed to be, where you're supposed to be. So what I'm here is to do a little reminding, right? So this is not a teaching section. This is just a, a reminding section of the things that you know or man have forgotten. <coughs> Okay, so that's why I so say you already know the secret. There's no secret to, to success, you know? You already know the basics. But why do you keep uh, enlightening yourself? And why, why, why is, it, is it important for you to keep reminding yourself? It's because the reinforcement makes it stick. The reinforcement makes you have it on the forefront of your mind. Because your, 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 your brain is not a, a memory card. It does not record, it just process. So it only concentrates on what is available at the moment. And anything available at the moment, that's the only thing that you're gonna focus on. So one of the things I wanna talk about is about and privilege, right? So a little bit about me, I'm from Nigeria in Africa, and I moved to El Paso four years ago. And um, I didn't want to go to high school like you guys did, I, I, I lived in a school, right? I started when I was 11 years old, and then when I was 16. And one of, those thi one of the things that I learned is that, you know, at that young age, you start taking responsibility for yourself, right? So, mama don't need to wake you up anymore. Be home, be now, time for school. Because I know that you have to do on your own. How many of you here are Catholics? Okay, part of our part of the Catholic church it was a Catholic boarding school. It was a Catholic boarding school. So you woke up at five o'clock in the morning, right? You brush your teeth if you have time to take a bath, but you have like about twenty-five minutes to make it to the uh, to the first mass, the morning mass. After the morning mass, you go to morning function. We call swooping around the compound, cleaning everywhere. It's a big compound say like maybe three times the size or four times the size of this whole arena. Damn. And then there's a fence around. So everybody has a specific duty. After that, you go to breakfast. After breakfast, we come to class. Like you guys are sitting down here. After class, we go for afternoon prayers. After afternoon prayers, we go to lunch. After lunch, we go to siesta. We go sleep for like 20 to 25 minutes. After that, we come to afternoon class. After afternoon class, we go back for evening prayers. But before that, we have games of labor. So games for the other day, and then labor, we get around the compound and cut grasses. And after that, you take a bath, and then come for evening prayers. After evening prayers, evening mass. After evening mass, supper. You have dinner. After dinner, you come back for night class. The night class, then 10 o'clock, juniors go to sleep, 11 o'clock, seniors go to sleep. So this is just a typical day. Now Would you get paid for doing that? Huh? Would you get paid for Get paid? Yeah. You pay to be there. <laughs> and you, you work there? Like, you yes. Oh. That's a high school. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I'm getting at. Catholics. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> pay me and you work. <laughs> so with pre-K, even pre-K, like you start from pre-K, your parents have to pay for school. Then Government, private, anyone. Your parents have to pay for it. And then since it was a boarding school, it cost more because we live there and we eat there. Do you have a question? Yeah, was it, was it like expensive? Yeah, it was expensive by the standards of my country, it was expensive. Let's say, let's say it costs like 11,000 to do the regular high school you guys are doing. It would cost like 24,000. Just an example. That's much, much, quite as much, sometimes more than. So that's what I was getting at. So here, you don't pay for school. 
All you have to do is just show up. Right? From pre-K up to your high school, all you have to do is just show up to class. That's it. And you get education for free. Over there, people stop at high school. Why? The parents can't afford college. And some people don't even go to high school. Why? No money. They end up in the streets. So that's why I say America is easy. America is easy. In comparison to living in Cambodia, or Indonesia, or China, or Kenya, what you have here is a good mind. Right? What you have here is big. So that's why you, you, you guys are seniors, right? Yes, sir. sir. Yeah. So you guys are going to graduate, right? When you graduate, what's the ceremony called? <coughs> Graduation. What's another word? Ceremony. Ceremony. What's another word? I'm looking for a keyword. I'm looking for a keyword. <laughs> Commencement. Isn't that what's it called? Commencement, right? What is commencement? What's the meaning of commencement? Start. Beginning. So it's the beginning, not the end. So it's the beginning of something new. It's the beginning of you moving forward. Even when you graduate from university, it's still a commencement. Why? Now they're expected more. So you graduating from school is just a little bit of what you are supposed to learn as a person. For you to grow mentally, emotionally, spiritually, you have to learn more. You have to learn more. For you to become somebody, you have to learn more. Because this is just basics. To learn more about life, you have to go outside there and learn more. And then that growth is up to you. So no matter where you came from, maybe you came from the wrong side of the street, maybe your, your family dealt you a bad hand, whatever it is that happened, you have the opportunity now for you to move forward and make the most of what you have. And what do you have? You have a free education during high school, you have financial aid in college, you have the books, the resources, because social media is the biggest thing now ever. For people don't don't use social media, the less social media use them. Social media can be a very, very powerful thing that could be used to learn a lot of things. You could find your passion, go to YouTube, you see people with similar passion, you could learn a lot. You could educate yourself on any subject. And that growth again. It's up to you. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter who you are. It's up to you. If you if you see kids on the television who are like made it when they were ten years old, or who haven't made it when they were fifteen years old, you think to yourself, "Gosh, I'm a loser." No, their parents already made it. So the parents made a way for them. If your parents are not rich and have never had it made, guess who you talk to? Us. You can make work for the generation coming after you. And that's the key. That's, that's what you have the opportunity to do. So what are you going to do? This is the big question. I wanted to show you guys this video, but I will, I will skip it because I have another one. So desire, desire, this is the key to making the most of that opportunity that you have, that opportunity that you have here. You have to have a strong and motivating desire. Something that gets you fired up whenever you think of it. Something that gets you up in the morning. Something that keeps you working late at night. You have to have that level of desire. Because as much as we ha you have this opportunity around, around you, you can use it or not use it. If you want to get inspired, 
There are about a million things that could get you inspired. Same goes the other way. If you want to be demotivated, if you want to waste your life, get there. So which one are you going to choose? It's a choice. And for you to focus on the productive and effective side, you have to have a strong and motivating design. Something that, you know, you can't even find, <coughs> something that is so big, a big dream. Now you can dream. Now you have the access to dream. Most of you don't work. Most of you are not paying a lot of bills right now. Most of you. Does anyone here have kids? You have a kid? Oh wait, have a kid now. <laughs> <laughs> you have a kid? That's the who? Okay, one person out of everybody. So most of you didn't have kids. You didn't have that big responsibility. This is your time to dream. I mean, even if even if even if you have a kid and you stay at this level, your mind is still fresh. Your mind is still curious, but that curiosity, that curiosity die if you don't develop it, if you don't build on it, if you don't own it. And you have to own it with something you want very much. And then when you develop that reason, when you develop that, that, that desire, you have to have a reason, a why. Because it's the why that gets you through the winter. It's the why that gets you through hell. Because you say, you know, this is hard, but because of this person, or because of this, I will not give up. The mountain is too high. The, the, the temperature is not forgiven. I'm not doing this because of me. I'm doing it because of this, or that, or this person, or my family. See, that gets you through anything. You could, you could sledge through walls if you have a, a, a real <coughs> desire and a real reason for that desire. And there are many reasons, right? So the mission, everybody here wants to be famous. Family, what I said earlier, if your family's not on the map, you can put your family on the map. Nitty gritty, anybody know, know what that means? First of all, when, I, when does this class begin? 105. 105. Okay. Nitty gritty. What does that mean? Anyone know? No. Huh? No. No. Gritty. 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 So what that means is that. You are in a place where you are so disgusted. You are in a place, you are in a rut. And that's your motivation for you to get out. You want to get out. It's like Kanye West. Kanye West, in his neighborhood, everything, when he was on an interview, one of his motivations, he wanted to get out. Because there were killings and murders and drugs and everything. His motivation was to get out. We want to get out of the bottom. That's a nitty gritty reason. It's getting down, down dirty. Like let's 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 be real. And anyone here know Options High School? You heard about it? In Sokoto District. Options High School. So it's in Sokoto District. I've done a presentation for that group. Do you know why it's options high school? That's where you go to when you get in trouble at your home school. So there, you see people have been in jail, people are on probation. Teenage moms who dropped out, but then are coming back. What do I appreciate about that crowd? I, I appreciate them so much because they're trying right, right, to get better. Trying to get out. Yeah. That's a nitty gritty reason. 
But you don't need to put yourself in that bottom for, for you to be motivated, right? There are other reasons that you can find <laughs> that could motivate you to go after your desires. <coughs> Benevolence. Maybe there's a charity you want to help. Maybe you are watching social media. You see those, those poor little things or animals, or shelter, or stuff like that. You feel so sorry for them. You say, I wish I could help. Well, you can. How? Pursue your goal, accomplish it, and you have the access to help. You can help from the bottom. You can push someone up. You can push someone up from the bottom. You have to pull them up. So you have to rise, and then you can pull them up. That's how you help. And that's one of your reasons. So the enemy to greatness is average. Fit it in. Want to be one of the gangs? Want to be one of the cool kids? Want to be one of the one of the cool guys? Right? Want wanting to be part of a group? If you look at successful people, they they, they are part of a group, but they are independent from that group. They can succeed without that group. They are independent by themselves. They join organizations to help. They join nonprofits to help, but they have their business. They have their life. And you have to be like that. You have to be able to survive independently. That's your goal. At least front and center. To be able to provide for your family and succeed independently. Yes, you're going to need help, but help around the way to succeed. But it's up to you to seek out that help. You have to be front and center when it comes to your life. Because it's going to get real when you get to college. It's even going to get more ugly when you graduate from college. Because when you get to college, well, no one's going to force you to come to class. You set your own schedules. If you want to come to class, you're going to do your assignment. It's up to you. You can have F's in your class. No one really cares. But then, the results are going to come out, and you're the loser. No one wants to be the loser. On purpose, at least from my experience, <coughs> it's one little bad decision at a time, one little tweak decision, a decision not to say I'm sorry, a decision not to do your homework, a decision, you know, not to do that and do this instead. Little by little, they build up, they add up, they add up. Soon enough, you find yourself in the ditch. Also on the flip side, you can make those little decisions to pursue what you want. And before you know it, the ladder keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. Before you know it, you're at the top. It takes longer to build a skyscraper than the chicken coop. So you have to build slowly but steady. Go at your own pace. But don't stop going. Find something and stick to it. Go setting, my favorite path. So get out a paper and a pencil. Okay. Casi, casi. Yes or no? No. No. 
you have to have somewhere in mind to go, right? Before you start your ship and make the move. This building was the first mapped out before it was built. Yes. Same thing. Same analogy applies here. The life you want, the life you want to build, you have to map it out first before you can make it work. You have to see it visually on the paper before you can visually see in your life. And this is where goal setting comes in. So we're gonna do just a quick overview of goal setting. I'm gonna give you just a little bit because this takes time. When I do it, when I do just goal setting for the whole presentation, that's when I have a lot of time. <coughs> but today, I just wanna fit, it, fit in a lot of stuff that I can. And uh, we're gonna start, I'm gonna give you a little bit and then if you continue this at home, if you continue whatever, find more resources and you know, sit down and dig information about yourself. And that will help you very much. You have too many leisure time now. Use it productively. Use it to dig information about yourself so that when it comes to time, you will be ahead of the crowd. Okay, so before we start, we're gonna do long range goals, right? But before we go into long range goals, I want you to write down like five things you think you do that. Three to five things you think you do that. Now, if you haven't done this before, then you have to go and this is where it gets tricky, yeah? Yeah? You see why this is what you should be doing. Three to five days you do that. Three to five. Okay. No, okay. Do you think it's enough to Three to five what? Things you're good at. Oh. What's the buzzer? No, the cosas de las que eres um, buena. Vas a salir en su video. Vas a salir en su video. Entiendo, papita, ponla allí. Chips. Yeah, you got something. Does she have a camera? Yeah. I don't know which one is it. Do you know which one? It looks like a Samsung. Like the note. Yeah. Yeah. Creativity. 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 All right. So if you get that down, let's go to the next one. So long range goal. So this is what you want to happen in your life, right? These are goals. Fans, income, investments, you know, personal development, your skills to be a leader, you know, is there a point you would like to prove, your mark you would like to make, your career? Would you like to live in Beverly Hills? And this could go beyond you, right? So the goal of life is service. The goal of life is serving other people. So you can write down the things you want to do for your family, for your real life. No way. I was talking to the elder class and told them a middle school kid was asked, what, 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 what's one of your long-term goals? You know what he said? He's a black kid. He said, I want to build a, a house for my mom to be in a white neighborhood. So you can start away from all the drama and all the trouble. So, wow, how can such a little kid have such a high perception of how the society is and have that kind of goal? So, that's something big. So think of something. Would you like to travel the world, places you would like to see? What you would like to learn, a skill that you would like to learn? Something you would like to be known for? What would you like to be known for? And then the puppy does. <laughs> All right, que le cuesta la crítica. Stop. 
strong. <laughs> no, you trust the chief and it's fine. I'm just, I'm just getting you started. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna start here. We're gonna go around, and you're gonna tell me one thing on your list. You share with everybody one thing on your list. One from what you one thing from what you do that, and then one thing from your long range goals. So this is so that other people get an idea because part of part of why I'm doing this is because trust is out what you wanna do, someone else might be thinking of it, but don't know. So whenever you hear someone say something and you wanna do that, you can also put it on your list. And another reason is that when you say it out loud, you know, it, it, it has a different tone to it. It has a different stuff to it. You, you start to hear yourself say it out loud, and then it starts to feel real. She stepped out. She didn't have anything, right? That's why she left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll start with you there. So, one thing from what you do that, one thing from your long range goals. Make sure that healthy people. Okay? A long range goal, I don't know what Something you want to accomplish. You don't have anything that you want to accomplish in the future? This is good that you're thinking of it right now. This is excellent. So that means you have a lot of homework to do on yourself. If you didn't have anything, it's good. Because then you, you see that you haven't really sat down with yourself and think about something. So there you go. You have the homework. How about you? You don't know? Okay. <laughs> How about you? You haven't put anything yet? If you put something, I'm going to come back. How about you? You good at saving money? Okay. One of your long range goals? Listen. Listen, listen, listen. To travel? Okay. What are the places you would like to travel to? Europe? All right, how about you? You got a communication? Listen, please, listen. Vet technician? Is it like the one that have the helps the vets? Why not be the vet? Think about it. How about you? Um, I'm good at math and I want to become a good barber. A barber? That's a passion, you like bourbon? Yeah. Come on. Alright, how about you? Um, I'm good at soccer. Soccer? Yeah. You good at soccer? Oh, I love soccer. How, and uh, one of your long range goals? Mm, travel. Travel? Is it because you heard us say it? No. <laughs> or because you heard me say it? How about you? Uh, I'm good at math and I want to be a math teacher. You want to be a math teacher. Amazing. How about you? Well, I'm good at math. And... Yeah. Listen, listen. Uh, I want to be a cop. You want to be a cop? Okay, officer. How about you, man, on the sunglasses? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty creative, and I just want to be happy. You want to be happy? What's going to make you happy? I guess being financially stable, and I guess knowing where I'm at. Okay, you see, you have some homework to do, right? You're going to find out, so you're going to break it down. You have to be specific. For you to be able to accomplish something, you have to be very specific. Very, very specific. Clarity is power. If you are vague, it's hard for your brain to pick up the information. 
The more specific, the better. So I, all of you have a homework to do. I know that. Even those people who have something to say, you have a lot of stuff to dig up about yourself. And the more you dig up, the better. You? Oh, man. Uh, I'm a team player. And team I, player? I want to travel in my 20s. Before uh, I get old. What else do you want to do? Thank you. Specific jobs. Yeah, a career. I don't, I don't know, I'm not quite sure yet. You're not quite sure yet. Okay, do you have an idea? Yeah, business and management. Business and management. How about you, buddy? Uh, well, I'm good at driving. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be an Uber driver? <laughs> I just want to be a self made millionaire. Self made millionaire? Self made. All right, that's cool. But you're gonna have a, a, a something, a, a channel, like right? You have yeah. to have something you want to do. You know that? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet? Okay. See, homework. How about you? Mm, I'm gonna video games. Video games, yeah. okay? That's a good niche. The scholarship tells us a scholarship. People get paid to play video games. You'd be surprised. <laughs> So what, are, what? So what do you want to do? Uh, what, what, what want to provide for school? So? Uh, I want to be successful in life and be able to like provide for my family and my parents. Okay. Do you, do you want to be like a computer engineer or something like that? Crazy. I want to be like a athletic trainer, but not, like, I want to join the military. Okay. How about you? I'm good at baseball. Mm -hmm. Baseball. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, my life um, goal is I want to become a worker. What a patrol agent. All right. How about you? All right, okay, let's listen, let's listen. Good at helping. Good at helping, okay. We're going to go. Financial escape, do you know what you want to do? I'll be a sign language interpreter. Sign language interpreter. What good one. How about you? Dancing, okay. Your children? Uh, dancing. Oh, dancing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And give me DJ Dixie. Give me DJ Dixie. Amazing. That's good. I'm good at singing, and I want to study music education. You want to do? Study music education. Music education. How about you? <laughs> listen, listen, listen. A forensic scientist. Oh. Um, I'm going to help you out there. What? I'm going to help you out there. Mm -hmm. A pharmacy. How are you? What? A dietitian? What is that? 